Hi everyone, it's Mila and I'm back. Welcome to my 32 week video. <laughs> I'm actually 33 weeks, but you guys know that I, I'm i always late. So anyway, um, 32 weeks, there's really not a lot to talk about. This may be my shortest video like to date. Um, the baby is, she's really moving around still, you know, which is of course awesome. Um, I feel her, I keep feeling her a lot more every day, um, which is great. I went to the doctor, um, when did I go, Tuesday, and um, the baby's heart rate was great, uh, as 140 beats per minute, and what else, oh, she said that um, the baby was measuring at like just over four pounds or maybe four and a half or something like that, so she said that. Uh, the, you know, I could be expecting a, 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 an eight pound baby, seven and a half or eight pound baby. So um, I go back in four weeks. Well, I'm, I'm on my two week cycle, but um, the appointment after next, I'm going to get my last ultrasound. So they're going to be able to tell uh, how much, you know, the baby actually weighs and what amount of that is amniotic fluid and whatever. So. We'll actually see if I'm going to have an eight pound baby. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else? Mm -hmm. Let's see, discuss the weight. Oh, um, I'm still on my two week appointments with the doctor. She said that I have two more times to do that. And then I will go in to see her once a week. So how exciting. Man, this time is just really, really flying by. So... That's pretty much it at the doctor's appointment. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything went well. Okay, let's see here. Um, as far as me and symptoms, it's pretty much the same symptoms. My sciatic nerve uh, is still giving me issues. Oh, one other thing that's kind of new. Well, something that I didn't really mention before because I kept forgetting. But I'm getting moles okay and I don't know if that's just because of pregnancy I think it is you know one thing it could do with my age <laughs> I've told you guys how old I am but um, I know when I turned a certain age um, I started getting uh, more moles but now that I'm pregnant I'm like getting moles like right here that's so not cute it's really not cute so I think they're there to stay I don't think moles go away so anyway I just had to deal with it. But that's it uh, as far as symptoms. I'm all moved into my new place. I know I mentioned that before in a previous video. So I'm all moved in. Everything is looking, it's coming together. <laughs> Most of the boxes have been unpacked. So um, baby girl's room, we're going to work on that uh, in a few weeks. So her room will be set up and, you know, it's all good. So um let me see what else i think that's it as far as the baby and me um oh for those of you returning to work after you have your baby after the fmla three month leave or whatever or even sooner than that i just want to give you some websites helpful websites that you could use um if you ever have any questions about breastfeeding and um you know just any any kind of questions about breastfeeding uh, for working moms and my best friend actually she passed these websites along to me so I'm gonna pass them on to you uh, one website is called work and pump .com. you know what I hope that one's working I checked one of these websites and they weren't it it was down so I'm not sure if this one is it or not but anyway it's called work and pump dot com that's a n d and the other one is la leche league dot org l a l e c h e l e a g u e dot org and that's um has some forums and q and a on there and another one is um the i l c a dot org which is an international lactation consultant organization and that one actually allows you to search for a local uh, lactation consultant in your area. So that one's pretty cool. 
and it's called ILCA.org. So those are just a few that may be helpful to you. One question that I want to ask this week is, who do you want in your delivery room? I ask myself that. Who do I want in the delivery room? <laughs> well, being that my family is so far away, um, let's see. I, you know what? Definitely Lovey. You know, definitely want him in there, of course. Um, but as far as anybody else, other than the doctors and the nurses, you know what? I really think I want my mom in there. You know, this is first grandchild, so. Yeah, I think I want my mom in there. Um, I don't want my dad in there. don't want my brother in there. My sisters, you know, they can see the baby when she comes out. But I think it's just such a special moment. You know, my mom, she might go in there and cry and boohoo. I don't know. We might be boohooing together. But anyway, um, if she can make it here fast enough when I go into labor, then maybe she can uh, join me on the journey to... Um, seeing my little girl come out I don't know but you know what I see on TV shows and stuff where in the delivery room there are like several people like several nurses several nurses like an abundance and I'm not sure why why are all those nurses in there it's like 10 people in the delivery room and I know when I am um, I was actually I've actually gotten the great opportunity to um, see one of my or be there with my really close friend um, and watch her give birth to my godson amazing amazing experience so this was several years ago but I remember then there were quite a few people in the room and I was like man so I don't really like a lot of people you know looking at my JJ you know I mean who who does you know that's a little sacred down there uh, so the less people the better but that might be a question I'll ask my doctor, you know, who am I supposed to be expecting in the delivery room um, other than, you know, my lovey and um, whoever else I want in there? How many doctors and what are they there for? So y'all ask that question next time. All right. Um, I think that's it. Wow. This is a record, guys. Seven minutes. I'm about to show my belly and get ready for uh, my baby shower this weekend. I'm so excited. Um, so I will hopefully post some pictures or give you um, some insight as to what happened at the baby shower when I return. So here's my belly and I am like super duper comfortable because these are my traveling clothes. So <laughs> here she is from the front, from the side. And I am definitely poking out there now from the other side, from the front. Look at that baby. From the side. And there she is on the other side. And she loves this side for some reason. She loves hanging out on the right side. All right, last time I measured, I was 40 inches around and this time oh come on I'm trying to hurry guys all right this time <laughs> this time I'm 41 41 inches 41 inches. Wow. Yeah, she's getting out there. Getting out of control in that belly. So anyway, uh, you guys have a great weekend. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. I know I will. And I will catch up with you when I return. Bye.